lightning strike deaths surge in India. Each year, almost 2,500 people get killed in India by lightning strikes. Jaipur, India, Faisuddin is still traumatized by the lightning strike that killed his three friends while they were taking photographs atop a 400-year-old fort in India, where lethal strikes are becoming more common due to climate change. Hundreds of people have died in similar fiery deaths this year in Rajasthan, a western desert area where thunderstorm-related deaths were once uncommon. Three thunderbolts struck me one after the other," said Faisuddin, his voice quivering as he lay wrapped in a blanket at his modest home in Jaipur. During a July storm that claimed the lives of eight other people, he and three childhood friends climbed hundreds of steps to a watchtower on top of Amur Fort. The sound was deafening, it sounded like a huge bomb had gone off. My limbs became rigid and I couldn't move because my trousers and shoes caught fire. The 21-year-old told AFP, a deep gush still on his head. According to government estimates, almost 2,500 individuals died in lightning strikes in India last year, compared to only 45 in the United States. During violent thunderstorms, cattle and other animals are frequently killed or maimed, with one blast of lightning in northeastern Assam state wiping out a herd of 18 elephants in May. Thunderbolts may carry up to a billion volts of electricity and wreak massive damage to structures when they strike. A bolt struck a tower at another fort in Chittorgarh earlier this year, a few hours south of where Faisuddin's friends died, and a massive chunk of stone plummeted to the ground. A rod was installed at the location to divert lightning away from the centuries-old structure. But it proved to be ineffective said Radhanjit Harwal, a conservator supervising the fort's painstaking repair work. Lightning strikes are also getting more common, with about 19 million strikes recorded in the year to March, up by a third from the previous year. According to Sanjay Srivastava of the Lightning Resilient India Campaign, one of the few organizations collecting data on thunderstorms, global warming is to blame. There is a rapid rise of large lightning as a result of climate change and localized heating of the Earth's surface, as well as greater moisture, he told AFP. The problem is global, with studies published this year predicting that the average number of lightning strikes inside the Arctic Circle could double by the end of the century. This could cause extensive tundra fires, releasing large amounts of carbon from permafrost into the atmosphere and aggravating global warming. Evidence suggests that lightning strikes are growing more common in metropolitan areas, which is a particular concern in India, where city populations are expected to explode in the future years. If, for example, a strike impacted a hospital and shorted out equipment used to keep patients on life support in intensive care, Sri Vastava said the implications may be disastrous. Devil from the Sky The Country of One 3 billion people is failing to adjust to the possibility of worse lightning strikes, just as it is struggling to adapt to rising sea levels, the increasing frequency of lethal heat waves, and other effects of climate change. The majority of human deaths during thunderstorms may be avoided, yet nearly no structures have lightning rods to protect their occupants, according to Srivastava. Forecasting is also challenging, as is warning people of impending storms. Indian scientists recently developed a mobile app that aims to deliver real-time alerts about impending attacks as well as preventative measures to take. However, in a country where barely half of the population owns a smartphone, and even fewer in rural areas where strikes are more likely, this is of minimal utility. Many people are also unaware of the dangers and what to do in a thunderstorm, such as not sheltering behind a tree and avoiding open locations. We would never have permitted our youngster to leave the house if we had known that lightning strikes might kill and maim," said Mohammed Shamim, whose 20-year-old son died in the Amr Fort incident. He'd put on a new clothing that day and all he wanted to do was take some good pictures with his phone. But it feels as if a devil descended from the skies and abducted our boy. But it feels as if a devil descended from the skies and abducted our boy.